What's up, everybody? <clears throat> this is Dawson Two doing another tutorial of uh, uh, my chunk. And this one, I um, hopefully I got over everything. If there's anything I didn't go over, um, someone please tell me. Um, we'll do those later. Uh, okay. So first off, uh, you know, if you watch the other video, you should know that there's a claim feature and an unclaimed feature to claim chunks. It also puts the border around with the torches. So when you claim, claiming it for the server because I don't want to claim it. So it'll claim with these torches and it'll indicate and you'll know when you go into an unowned area it'll say unowned. When you go into an owned area it'll say owned. So let me just unclaim that. And caps don't matter which I find amazing because I sometimes hate putting caps. Oh wait, no, we want to claim this chunk. I'm stupid. <laughs> so for this I'm going to go over every single um, every single flag hopefully hopefully I got them all if you want to know you just type my chunk flags and yeah I should have gotten them all so if you want a flag you just put a allow oh yeah, yeah, yeah actually I have I have the signs back here so he added a new feature there's disallow star and allow and allow star which um allows a player for everything I believe. So if I go like allow oh allow star Oh, I don't think I've updated mine yet, but that should allow ev all the permissions and then the disallow and allow are for single permissions that I I I forgot to update. I'm, I'm sorry. But th this should work. Um so yeah. And then there's the owner one. You can see the owner and who has the what players are allowed to do what and stuff. So um, there's the star, which is all. So if I go allow who's ever name, I'm just putting mine, and then put a star. You don't need to allow yourself, but y you get it. Um, so here, I'll just allow. star so now that person has the allow flags um and then disallow he th um so you don't i don't think the star is really needed anymore um it's just there oh that thing got stuck and then you can disallow everything no no sir 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 i just checked and these are for every single chunk so if you use these on someone, it doesn't give them all the permissions. This gives them all the permissions for a single chunk. This will give them all the permissions for every chunk you own. So that that was the feature that I suggested, and then I looked up there, and I'm like, oh, I'm stupid. He already has it there. I should have read more. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to add that. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, mate. So yeah, there's um, there's no iron door, so iron doors, I think, are always private. Uh, actually, no, wait, unless you have the buttons and levers. So um, there's water. There's buttons, levers, O for wooden doors, L for lava, I for ignite, D destroy, C access, chests, B build, and that is all of them. Now, moving on, we have, well, the claim, but this one, there's an overbuy thing where um, you can buy over the amount of chunks, but you spend more money. So for this one, it requires vault, I believe. Otherwise, it's just pointless to have it set. <laughs> So yeah, you can ha you can overbuy, but it just costs more money. So uh, for me in my server, I made it so it cost 100. But you can make like the overpriced price a thousand, which I was gonna do. I just haven't gotten to it yet, but I think I'm gonna leave it because 30 30 is enough. Yeah. So you can just buy over the max chunks for more money, and whoa, 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 whoa. and this one is to allow profit. I'm not too sure how it works. But it's uh you use this to let sign, so like this. It doesn't it doesn't caps don't matter. Uh let me just see. I th I'm not really sure how that works, but it's 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 apparently so people can rent it and stuff, and, and then you make a profit off of it. And and then there's um Oh, this is another thing in the config. You can change the amount of claims available in the config, so like the amount of uh how many the default people can use and then there is an uh, option where you can put in the permissions um, I think I'll sh um, no, 
well, you put it in like the permissions folder, and you know the if you know permissions, you should get this. You put in um, it's like my chunk dot max or something, and it's something like that, and it should uh, and then you put like you after the last dot, you put a number, so let's say a hundred. They would get a, they'd be allowed to do a hundred claims without an overbuy price. They just get a hundred for a hundred bucks each claim. And yeah, and then there's these for sale and not for sale signs. Um, I haven't really tested these either. You can claim that chunk for free. You're not allowed to sell them. Oh, what? Oh. Well, I guess I don't have it enabled, but it allows you to sell them and not for sale. Uh, I'll test this one out too. Because you probably, some people probably wonder. This chunk is not for sale. Okay, so now, so it's not for sale or anything. Uh, so th I think that just allows you to make more money or something. It, you sell your chunks that you don't want. You know the claim and unclaim feature. So yeah, I pretty much went over how to do it, but I kind of went a bit fast. So I shall go to the donation area and the suggestion box, suggestion box behind this. So if he gets donations, he's going to add a for rent. Um, yeah, and apparently that's, so I think that's like, to let sign but you get the, they're allowed to rent it and they get you get paid over time cuz they have to pay you over time so this this if if you want this to be like a money making um chunk thing you uh that's weird you uh get you when you up if you don't if you get enough donations you want to make it like a money making plugin you allow people to rent your chunks and they pay you over time for amount of days i'm guessing cuz he hasn't really he hasn't added it it's just if he gets enough donations and then if he gets another donation, he's gonna add um be able it's gonna make it so you can add towns. Um so you can make like chunks. Um I'm gonna suggest something if he watches this. Um here hopefully you watch this. Um I suggest uh if you make towns, I would it would be amazing if you could add like uh like when you walk into a chunk, it'll display a message that you can change. Like it'll have a message and you can change it to whatever. So you'll have like a message saying, Welcome to this town. And then when you leave, you'll say like, "Come back again." I that that would be a good suggestion for that. Um, hopefully you watch, heard that. And then here's the suggestion box. Um, there would be four, but he added he actually added one. So this one's prevent clash with townie. Um, this means uh, it'll check the chunks that townie owns, and it won't crash with it. So it, if it's owned by town, if a chunk is owned a bit by townie. It um, it the chunk it won't it won't you won't be allowed to claim that chunk, and then there's PVP toggling on per chunk basis. Um, um, oh excuse me. Um, so um, for this I'm not really sure what it means, but I'm I'm just gonna take a nice guess here that it means there's gonna be something in the config where you can turn PVP on and off between every single chunk that's wild, and every single chunk that's owned. And when did this happen? I'm watching you guys. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so um, I would suggest if uh, there would be like a little thing in the config where you're allowed to. Sorry, I'm like going blank. You're, there's like the PVP. It's there's like a something in the config that says PVP true or false, and it'll be like every chunk that isn't claimed ha will either have PVP or no PVP. And then PVE is, um, if it's, uh, there'd be a nice suggestion too for this. It'll allow you to kill or not to kill mobs. So if you, if you're like have a peaceful server or something, and you don't want people killing cows or anything, or if you just don't want people killing, or if you just want people killing other cows and stuff and other people's farms in their chunks. So it's one of those two. I think it's the not allowing to kill animals in other people's chunks, because that would be nice. That way no one could kill my chickens. And <laughs> my friend would stop killing other people's animals. And yeah, also, um, yeah, yeah, never mind. So yeah, um, that would be a nice suggestion. So yeah, I think I kind of went over this a bit fast, but I hope you I hope you enjoyed this. Um, oh, I don't think I expli no, I explained the owner. Oh yeah, here. Um, I didn't I didn't explain these three. Sorry, sorry. Funny. So allowing mobs will allow mob spawning. So we'll like go into the trunk. Allow mobs. Um, I'm not, I haven't tested this one either. 
Line 2 must stay either on or off. Okay. So allow mobs on will allow them to spawn. Allow mobs off will allow them to despawn. I do not have this permission set, so people can't do it because I like mobs being everywhere. Vault is required for making chunks cost money. And PvP and item protection in claim land. So, like, um, no one can break stuff in your claimed land and no one can kill you in your claimed land. So, in my server, it's PvP. But, uh,. You can't kill people in their own chunks. You cannot raid people's houses. So it's just, if they're walking around in the wild, you can murder them and take everything. So yeah, and this will allow you, so like, you can't do stuff. So I'm just gonna unclaim this. And yeah. Uh, if you're all watching this and you're from my server and you're wondering where this is, I'm in mod world for admins and mods only. There's no possible way they're allowed to take you over here. I enabled and disabled some permissions and so only certain things are available and yeah so uh, I'll see you all later and I hope you enjoy this nice tutorial um, hopefully I covered everything um, if I did hopefully the owner of the plugin sees this and he can tell me whatever I didn't add and um, I'll put it in the description so yeah I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all later, everybody. Bye. See you later.